more of the spider from Ori and the Will of the Wisps, a scary, scary piece that I listened to on my Halloween music stream. I've just woken up and I'm excited to break down this scary piece at nine in the morning. Here we go. When we put the umbrella term of horror music, we have to consider that usually it's to create a feeling like any music, but it's, it's intended to create discomfort and fear and worry. And so I think that there is a different mindset that a composer has to get into in order to create music that causes us alarm and discomfort. And one of the ways that we do that here is right off the bat, and you hear that whisper, you go, so it's already setting the scene. Now, I've never seen more of the spider. I've never played this game, not yet anyway. I'm going to on twitch.tv slash Marco Meatball if you want to check that out. There's a quality here already of discomfort. You turn around, you don't know where that whispering is coming from. There's no melody per se. Even in the first 10 seconds, there is this quality of worry. Yeah, and then in classical, classical horror music, prickly, pizzicato strings where we're plucking those notes and we're causing that discomfort and of course it actually makes even more sense because it's a spider and so you automatically feel that creeping up on the back of the neck and that feeling of like oh, it's all these little techniques that are used to manipulate us from an emotional perspective to cause us discomfort The hair stands on the back of your head. First of all, we have that primal scream by the soprano. And automatically we have this melody and then we launch and so this is like a chase sequence now. Yeah, so automatically now with that kind of music, we're getting this feeling that more of the spider is huge, more of the spider is incredibly challenging, and more of the spider is vicious. It's interesting because we don't go full horror, we retain an element of melody and retain an element of, of musicality rather than just covering it with those different elements that create your classic horror sound. We still have those, they're still incorporated, but we're leaning forward with melody. And that adds a layer of, of desperation almost, and it does feel like a chase sequence and being hunted down and pursued by the spider rather than the spider being in the back corner somewhere. We really do feel like, oh, we're literally fighting for our lives here. That's such a nice touch, isn't it? So you feel like a little bit like there's this push and pull. All it really is doing, if we isolate it, is going down. And so it feels like we're being chased down a hill or there is some sort of like element of going into a cave. The little musical things there that, uh, for my mind's eye that I haven't seen the context of this, it's actually really fun, but it does add this like, ooh, this little, a little bit of it, adrenaline, you know? Why did I sound like Jeff Goldblum? You know what I mean?
Yeah, and this is like being caught up in that web, right? Well, all of a sudden, Mora's got us. We're ah, trying to shake off from being in the web. We can't, we're like stuck in it. Like, ah, it's like crawling on our back. I finally have you. And so actually that melody that we just heard earlier, bum, 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 ba -da -dum, bum, bum. now we have it in the lower uh, basses and in the lower men. Oh, 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 oh. Why is my voice so low? Okay, it's interesting. Oh, fun. That insect quality. Doesn't it feel like we're like plodding around and we are, this is the theme of Moral the Spider. It's not about the situation necessarily. I think it actually does do a little bit of a dance with that. However, it really does feel like, I'm a spider. I'm more of the spider. All right. <laughs> you hear a little bit of this maniacal quality in there that I think it, uh, is exudes characterization. And it's incredible too, because it actually makes your hair kind of stand on end because with those lower brass, but then you got and the strings, which is like, get off me. Fun little musical gesture that those horns are doing, which they sound like tr trombones or tuba. Those are called sforzando. Sforzando is when we go, we go, we start from piano, we build up to forte, and then we pull back. It's very cool to see that in, in action. there. All bets are off right now the desperation is rising as we increase with that tempo and with that rhythmic intensity now it's like oh no you won't stop i'm gonna get you you know like i'm sorry i'm sorry for all that Big, big shift here because we were almost in the grasp of Mora, and now this theme is shifting, and I believe this is actually going to move into the main theme of Ori. Well, maybe not, but the, the point is that there's a heroic element to that now. Now the tables have turned, and actually, Ori, or Shriek, or whoever, I don't know, um, is now in control. And actually, there's a big, even though the melody is all stuff that we've heard in this piece earlier, now we get a major quality to it. Now we are ready, uh, and now we are facing this foe head on, uh, and now the theme is not Mora's, but actually Ori's.
Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think that like suddenly Ori is uh, is going to be victorious. There's always going to be tension in this piece, and this tension is very high. However, there is that big shift there that's really fun because it does give us a sense of okay, maybe this isn't such a bad situation after all. Maybe there's a way that we can get out of it and we can protect ourselves and stuff. Not to say that that will happen. The tension remains. It's interesting how music can create uh, circumstances where we hear uh, a creature or a situation and we. We can sort of deduce what's happening even if we can't see the context it's it's a really amazing thing about music is that it allows us to paint a picture with our mind's eye and uh and things like that have been happening for th hundreds of years and it's extremely cool to even hear it now with gareth here uh this fantastic composer as always if you like this sort of stuff there's more videos on the channel feel free to check out my ori playthrough eventually on twitch.tv slash marco meatball uh, join the discord if you'd like and i'll see you later bye